Welcome back and in this video we'll be creating a main menu for our game. So let's begin. To get started we're going to add a brand new addition to our backdrops and we're just basically going to paint one. We're just going to use the fill object and increase brightness to 100 and select a light blue. And we can't fill something that doesn't have a border, so let's just add this border. And that can work instead of filling. So now that we have this, what we want to do is add text and use um, black text by decreasing the brightness and then go to the pixel text and call this two player tank game and we'll just increase the size of this so that it's more visible make sure that it's centered on the x-axis as much as possible and that's all we need now we'll go to the backdrop and this time instead of when flag is clicked broadcast play we want to remove that and we're actually going to hide a few variables so now we can see all of this is gone but we'd also want to hide a few variables what we'll be hiding is first firstly we're going to be hiding the player one bullet timer we're also going to be hiding the player two bullet timer and then we can also hide the player one and player two wins when the flag is clicked and then we'll show them when um when i receive play so we can go to events and select the when i receive play and instead of hiding these variables we can show them so we're going to show the player one bullet timer show the player two bullet timer show the player one wins and show the player two wins and bring this all here and then we'd also want to create another variable and we'll call this variable main menu and what this variable will be used for is basically we want to see if the main menu is active or not and when flag is clicked we'll set main menu to one which basically means it is so one will be basically true and if main menu is um not there we'll set it to zero and after that we'll also go to looks and we'll switch the backdrop to level one when the when the play message is broadcasted and we'll have it be backdrop two or we can rename this to main menu and place that right there now we can go to variables and just disable that as well now we want to upload two new sprites and the link for these sprites will be in the description it's just two blue buttons we'll import the play button and we'll also import a quit button and we'll resize the both of them to to 75 so 75 and make this 75 as well and just place this here and place this here and all that matters is both of their x are zero okay now we'll go to the play button we can just remove this excess um, text and we can yeah this actually is fine now we'll go to the play button and what we'll do is write the code for it we can go to events and say when I receive play we'll hide it but for a change when something is showing when the flag is clicked so when flag is clicked show and we'll basically go to the control and forever we're going to look if the main menu is one just so that this cannot be pressed um, when the main menu isn't active and when main menu equals to one then 
we can go to control and place this in this if statement and then we can look if mouse down and touching mouse pointer at the same time so we bring an and block and put these both in here and if this is the case then we'll broadcast play now we need to go to our quit block and all we have to do here is bring this in here and instead of broadcasting play this time all we'll do is stop all and now if we click play we can start the game and enjoy it and we can also click quit and that will stop the game so that's it for this video thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed and please make sure to like and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss the next video where we'll be adding random levels so we'll be adding more levels into the game and they'll be randomly selected um, as each time the the game resets so please make sure to turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next video see you in the next video goodbye